Thank you so much to Hollywood Health and Society for sponsoring this video. Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Fear and misinformation is a hotbed for myths, so the mounting number of falsehoods surrounding COVID-19 may not come as much of a surprise. But here at Life Noggin, we have your back, and we're gonna clear up some of those myths right now. Coronavirus myth number one, only older people can get it. While older individuals and those with medical issues are more at risk of developing serious complications, anyone can become infected. One study found that children under 10 had a similar rate of infection as the general population. In each group, about 8% of individuals became infected. Number two, getting coronavirus is a death sentence. The majority of people, around 80%, will only get a mild case. The most common symptoms, affecting anywhere from 44 to 99% of patients, are fever, cough, and fatigue. About 14% will get a more severe case, with symptoms like difficulty breathing and pneumonia. Around 5% will become critical and may suffer from sepsis, respiratory failure, or organ failure and only a very small percentage of cases are fatal. Number three, the flu kills more people. The death rate for the flu is about 0.1%. While it's still unclear what the death rate of the coronavirus is, preliminary research suggests that it is at least 10 times higher, with estimates ranging from one to 3%. Plus, the flu is well understood. There is a definite season for it, and we have a vaccine. All things that the coronavirus is currently lacking. Number four, a mask will protect you from the virus. Disposable masks don't provide the same protection against tiny viral droplets as the ones used by healthcare workers, but they will help you avoid spreading potentially infectious droplets to others. Which is important, since the CDC believes that as many as 25% of the population are infected, but not showing any symptoms. Number five, radiation from 5G networks is causing illness or helping spread coronavirus by weakening the immune system. Even though 5G uses higher frequency radio waves than 4G or 3G, with frequencies reaching 300 gigahertz, it's still not high enough to ionize or break apart molecular bonds and damage DNA. Ionization occurs at frequencies about 1 billion times higher. Overall, there is no evidence that 5G causes any harm. Number six, it came from bat soup. COVID-19 did not pass to humans by someone eating bat soup. In fact, it's still unknown whether it was passed to humans directly from bats at all, or if there was an intermediate animal. Scientists have found pangolins and bats with the coronavirus strain similar to the one that causes COVID-19. However, they aren't similar enough, suggesting that another unidentified animal is the culprit. Number seven, it was created in a lab. What scientists do know for sure is that the virus was not made in a lab. They determined this by looking at the genetic information and how the virus evolved. They discovered that the part of the virus that attaches to human cells is so good at its job that there's no way it was engineered in a lab. This could only have happened through natural selection. Number eight, if coronavirus gets in your mouth, it can be washed away. There is no evidence that drinking water, salt water, vinegar, or any other liquid can kill or prevent coronavirus. And please, I can't believe I have to say this, but do not gargle bleach or drink ethanol. They can cause serious damage. I know I'm an animation telling you to not drink bleach, and that is a wild, thought, but just don't do it. The virus primarily enters our bodies when we breathe, so chances are, if you came into contact with it, you've already inhaled it into your lungs. Number nine, blowing a hairdryer in your nose and mouth will kill the virus. This will only cause burns and dry out the mucous membranes in your eyes, nose, and mouth, which will actually make you more susceptible to respiratory infections as it's your first line of defense against them. One study that is still under peer review even found that COVID-19 can survive temperatures of 60 degrees Celsius for an hour. To kill the virus, they had to heat it up to 92 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes minutes, which is almost the boiling point of water. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this <laughs> again, but uh, just to be safe, do not pour boiling water on your face. This video is gonna seem so weird in a couple of years, huh? Number 10, microwaving your mail will kill the virus. Unless you wanna start a fire, you should never microwave anything that isn't microwave safe. That includes envelopes. So far, at the time of recording this, no one has contracted coronavirus from their mail. But if you're worried about it, you can quarantine your mail for a couple of days or wash your hands after opening it. Number 11, injecting yourself with disinfectant 
will treat the virus. Should you use disinfectant to kill the coronavirus on surfaces? Definitely. Should you use it to kill the virus inside of you? Absolutely not. A woman who injected 100 milliliters of bleach into her veins, which is almost seven tablespoons, experienced acute kidney failure and needed renal replacement therapy. A man who injected 20 milliliters of bleach into his veins, which is about four teaspoons worth, suffered from pain, swelling, and blood clots. A man that injected less than one milliliter of bleach, which is about one quarter teaspoon, experienced chest pain and vomiting. So yeah, don't do it. Number 12, the malaria drug hydroxychloroquine can be used to treat coronavirus. Right now, there is absolutely no substance that has been found to stop or cure COVID-19. While hydroxychloroquine and other drugs are being studied, recent clinical trials have not shown promising results. In fact, one study found that patients treated with these drugs died twice as often as patients who didn't receive them. The best way to prevent getting infected is to practice social distancing, avoid touching your face, to wash your hands often, and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. I hope this video helped in some way, and I hope you stay safe. Let me know in the comment section below if there are any other myths surrounding the coronavirus that you have heard of, and maybe we'll tackle them in another video. Thank you so much to our friends over at Hollywood Health and Society who sponsor this video. To find out more about what they do and see how you can help their great causes, click the link in the description. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.